Hey, bot makers. Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how you can use my time script to uh, run office hours for a bot. Um, I've updated the time script today to include um, just the hours, just the minutes, and then um, whether it's a.m. or p.m. So you can actually greet somebody, good morning or good evening, that sort of thing. Um, anyway, so let me show you what uh, the time script looks like now. So if I pass in um, time zone and I'm in the central time zone and I'm in Kansas City, so I pass in minus five. And what happens is that my script will return all this information and set these attributes. And you'll see here time 24 H is the uh, hour in 24 hour time. So if it was two o'clock in the afternoon, that time would be 14, so, you know, always 12 plus whatever. Um, so we can use that to check to see if um, we have office hours. So let's go back over here to the chat field dashboard and I can show you how to set this up. So let's say uh, you only want to answer live support during certain hours of the day. I know I do. I don't want somebody trying to chat me at one in the morning when I'm asleep, right? So um, you'd go to your live support or you'd create a block here called live support. And so if somebody wanted support, they would go here. And the first thing you need to do is set up a JSON API to call um, braintrustinteractive.com, chat fuel, scripts, time PHP, and then make sure you send in your time zone. So if you're in Eastern time zone, you'd send in, you know, minus four. So basically, you know, my again, mine is central time, so I'm minus five. So I would pass in the time. What that does is it returns all this information. Uh, it returns basically the current time with all of this info. So <clears throat> let's say I only want to be open on uh, Monday through Friday. So when I get this data back, I would first check to see if we're inside the business days. So I would set an attribute um, or check the day short, make sure if, if it's Monday or if it's Sunday or, oops, or if it's Saturday, then I would go to the we're closed block, which is here and says, you know, sorry, we're currently closed. Our office hours are eight to five Monday through Friday, okay? So, um, if the time or if my day, let's say like today is Monday, so I would officially be open. So if the uh, if the day is Sunday or if it's Saturday, it would bounce to the we're closed block. Well, it's not, so it's going to continue to the next block. And I want to check to see if I'm, uh, you know, in between eight and five o'clock, right? So I want to check and make sure if the time is less than eight so that would be if the hour is less than eight that means it's seven o'clock so i don't care what the minutes are as long as the hour is um eight or better then i'm in you know i've got business hours or if the time is greater than 1600 which is uh, 4 p.m so if the hour is actually five then it would be 17 so if it's if it's less than eight or it's greater than you know 4 p.m then I'm closed and so it would bounce to the we're closed block. If it passes both of these go-to blocks then congratulations uh, you can chat me and I would actually put a live, live chat button you know or live chat plugin right here um, you know just like this and put it in there so that you could actually chat me if you wanted to inside my business hours. So let's test and see what that looks like. Right now it is almost 11 a.m. on Monday. So uh, the logic would be that it would pass this block and it should pass this block and tell me that we're open. So let's check that out and see what that looks like. And here we go, we'll get started. Congratulations, our office is open. So let me show you what it would look like, let's say if we were closed. So let's say I'm really lazy and I only want business hours from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. So let me check that and see how that looks. So it's checking and it says, sorry, we're currently closed. Our office hours are 8 to 5 Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Um, if you want, you can contact, you know, leave your uh, message and we'll contact you ASAP. And right here is where you would probably use, um, you know some user inputs to get the person's uh, phone or email or both and then send yourself a uh, an email that you've that you've got the contact or use a json plugin to trigger zapier to 
send an email or send yourself an SMS notification that somebody wants to talk to you and needs to uh, talk to you about an order. So this would work extremely well for e-commerce websites, um, local business, whatever. So um, that's the updates with the time uh, script here. And as you can see, it works very well, okay? Uh, that's basically it. Enjoy and uh, let me know if you have any questions.